Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and this is another Traffic Manager Present Edition tutorial. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Speed Limit Tool. So if we open up our little toolbox here, then we're going to get to, we can see this button down here for Speed Limits, a little Speed Limit sign there. And these are in, uh, you know, KM per hour. And, and we can actually kind of start to zoom in and hover over things and start to see what the default speed limits are. This is actually the, we can actually see the Metro popping through here underground. In fact, if we go to page down, we can see, yep, that is indeed the Metro. Bring up that map mode there so we can see that a little bit easier. So we can even affect the Metro speed. That's kind of cool. We can affect the speed of trains and all kinds of stuff. Um, and, and we could see all the different speeds on all the different roads by default, right? And we could just start clicking on stuff. We could be like, hey, I could I could make this 100, I could make this lane going this direction 100 miles per hour in this segment if I wanted to. So there he's zipping up, he's speeding up, of course, and then he's decelerating because he's going into a 40. Um, so, of course, that'd be a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> Look at him. They're kind of, the AI will adjust to that instantaneously if you have that setting selected, right? So... There's a lot of really cool stuff here. And and the reason why this is important is not because like, oh, a car that's trying to travel from A to B, if it's if it gets there faster, that doesn't necessarily intrinsically help with traffic, but speed limits on roads affect which way a car goes. If this road, if we set this road right here to 100 km per hour, if we do this, we're gonna actually prioritize people taking this route even if it means a little bit of a de uh, diversion for them, they're still going to be more likely to use this road because we've just bumped it up to 100. I mean, that's huge, right? So now this is all of a sudden, this is basically a freeway in the middle of our city. And just uh, so, so a little hockey that's very important to notice, if you're hovering over a bit and you hold shift, see how it applies to both segments. Otherwise, you'd have to go one click, click, click. But you can see that I've already got all of this set to 40 on the other side. That's because I was holding shift when I made that adjustment. So I always hold shift just to apply it to the entire road um, between junctions, right? Same, similar situation going on with the vehicle restrictions that we looked at in the last, in the last tutorial. The other thing that we can look at here, and so, so it's very important to think about speeding up and slowing down roads to divert traffic. If a lot of people are using a road, you could lower the speed limit on it, try to get them to branch out and go alternate ways. Or you can increase the speed limit on other roads to prioritize people to go around that busy road, right? Like if we have a neighborhood here and everybody's going through the neighborhood, we could reduce speed limits universally through the neighborhood. We could reduce these down to 20. That's pretty slow, but we could. And then we could actually increase the speed limit on the exterior roads. And that'll actually get people, literally the AI will decide, hey, it's actually faster to go around the neighborhood than go through the neighborhood. So that's a pretty cool little thing. And you can really kind of fiddle with this and work through this. Now, a couple little advanced things that we can do is we can actually hit the show lane wise speed limit. So here, if we adjust the speed limit on this freeway in this segment, it's for all three lanes. But if we go to show lane wise, we can break it down to the individual lanes. And one of the things I love to do is actually set this so that the outer lane has a higher speed limit. So now the passing lane actually has a higher speed limit here pretty cool that means that the the cars are going to be prioritizing this lane so how do we prevent everybody from dogpiling in there well that's what i talked about last time right where we go into actually let's clear all this clear all this right one of the things that we did on the last uh tutorial was vehicle restrictions and we looked at how we can actually ban freight trucks in the outer lane. So now we've actually prioritized people to use the outer lane because we've increased the speed limit of the outer lane. But at the same time, we're, of, we're preventing the freight trucks from using it. So it's going to cause a distribution of those cars. Some of the cars are still going to be using the second lane because they're freight trucks and they're not allowed to use the outer lane. But the outer lane is going to be used by the commuters. So this creates just like this can kind of break up those big conga lines that you can see by having lanes that have different speed limits, but also combining that with different vehicle restrictions, which is really, really cool. Um, but really, it's just this is just a this is an overarching strategy for fixing um, traffic because you can create main roads, right? By increasing the speed limit of a road, you're telling the AI that, hey, that's a main road. By reducing the speed limit of a road, you can destroy main roads, right? In terms of what the AI is using. So really, this just comes down to observation. Traffic management 
is about observation. It's about observing where the cars are going and why they're going that way, and then using these tools to try to trick them to go elsewhere. Another thing that we can do is we can actually affect the, the default speed limits for the various roads. So if we just like, hey, you know, this road, we just don't want this road. We just want this road to be faster by default. And we could just set that as a setting and we can save, you know, save and apply, save and apply. So that means that every time we build this particular road, which actually this is from network extensions, uh, let's maybe go find a road. There we go. Just the default road in the game is 40. There you go. Just the basic road. We can make this 50. Save. If we know for whatever reason we're going through our city and we're constantly doing that, I don't think it'll retroactively. Ooh, it will. Oh. That's the difference between save and save and apply. Check this out. If we go here and we hit save, it doesn't adjust this. I, but if we then go and make a basic road, this should be 60. But if we hit apply, see, this is now 60. So this is some customization that you can do before you even start putting down roads if you want to. But because we, if we hit save and apply, it'll update the existing roads of that type to 60 automatically. So we don't have to go through the whole city and meticulously update all the roads. So that's really, really nice. I've never done this. I've never actually customized the roads because I think by default they're fine. I think by default they're fine, but you might want to. There might be certain roads that you're like, okay, why is this road so slow or why is this road so fast? And you might want to, you might just kind of visualize a road as, as having a different function. So you might want to actually change its, its core properties uh, by in, in the default screen there. So there you go. There you go. That is the speed limit mod. And when you start combining this with the other tools like the lane connectors and the vehicle restrictions, you start to unlock a lot of potential and possibilities for, for sort of alternative ways to fix traffic flow, right? You don't just have to create bypasses and create more roads or redesign your no road networks anymore. You can now use your existing network and then customize the properties of the roads you've already put down. So you can keep your actual vision, your, your core design. You can keep your core designs and still push traffic to different ways and divert them in different ways using stuff like speed limits and vehicle restrictions and stuff like that. So this is a really, really cool feature. I'm constantly using this, but really it's about, it's about finding a traffic problem and, and thinking like, hey, are speed limits adjusting high or lower? Is that going to help resolve this bottleneck, right? And a lot of the times it can. A lot of the times it can. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And we will continue this tutorial series for Traffic Manager President Edition. And we will probably be looking at the junction restrictions next because this is a whole nother set of options and things that we can do to help with traffic flow. So thank you so much, everybody. I will see you guys in the next one.